back here at the shop, we're uh, we're taking the tank, the gas tank, out of this little 86 Ford Ranger behind. So I'll show it to you guys. It's a little 86 Ranger. It's got a uh, 2.9 V6 in it, fuel injected V6, and uh, it's only got 95,000 original miles on the thing. I mean, check out this interior, y'all. This is crazy. Look at this interior. Minty, 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 like chloride toothpaste. Fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride toothpaste. Funny, it came with a radio delete, but it has air conditioning. That's kind of cool. Wood grain. Nice little Mustang floor shifter in there. Stock. Seat is perfect. Headliner, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, the thing runs, uh, it runs okay. But it just uh, it doesn't idle well, and it has trouble maintaining idle, uh, you know, pretty much all times. So anyway, what we did is we pulled this tank out. This is as far as we got. I wanted to show it to you guys before we did anything else. And another thing that uh, about this little Ranger is the fuel. The fuel gauge didn't work, so I'm assuming the fuel sending unit is probably bad. And I can see a lot of corrosion right there where my fingers at that blue green. So I'm assuming this thing is probably rotten. And I thought this thing ran out of gas the other day. I mean, this tank is probably uh, just off the top of my head, 25 to 30 gallons. And uh, I thought it ran out of gas. So we actually added five gallons of fresh gas to this thing, thinking it was out of gas because it died and it wouldn't restart. And uh, y'all, check this out. See if you can see. Let's see if I can slosh her a little bit. It is right there at the lip. Y'all see that? This thing's full of gas. It is absolutely full of gas, which tells me that this tank is probably, judging by, you know, the condition of that and the tank itself and the fact that the guy told me this thing sat for like five years. It was an old time, old timer and he, uh, he hadn't driven in a while. He's in a wheelchair now. Real cool guy. I'm really appreciative of the truck, but still he didn't drive it. So I'm thinking this tank is completely rusted inside. So I probably wasted five gallons of gas, which it today's prices good lord anyway this thing is completely full of gas gas that i can't use now so uh we're gonna go from there and uh i'm gonna take this uh this sending unit out right here check out the inside and everything and i'll bring you guys along we're gonna go ahead and take out this sending unit here you what you got to do is you got to take this ring this inner ring and you have to spin it counterclockwise because you can see where the locks are right here that locks up against the piece on the actual tank so you have to spin it this way so without further ado go ahead bub we already threw some pb blaster in there to loosen it up a little bit give her some good hits there you go that's just the water tank there got it all right take that ring off carefully i'll video you there you go. You want to do the honors? You, you hear that? Man, man, oh man, oh man. Well, that answers our question of why this thing is running like crap, number one, and why the gas gauge isn't working. Yep. All right, so here's what we got, y'all. <sighs> got an internal fuel pump right here. And it's just, it's just, it's clogged full of junk and garbage. You know, the intake and everything is nasty. And the float is completely gone. This is what, you know, whenever you've got this thing in there, hold this right here, bub. Got it? So what happens when you, right now, this would show empty. So whenever you fill up your gas tank, this this usually has a float right here, and it goes up, 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 and as it goes up, your needle goes up and shows full. Then as you use your gas, it goes down. Well, number one, this thing doesn't have a float anymore. It's probably in the tank or just rotten completely. And number two, I mean, look at the shape of this thing. So, yeah, this is rotten, can't use this. I'm gonna have to order a new one of these, but I'm not even worried about this thing. I was, I was planning on ordering a new one anyway. But this gas, I mean, good Lord, man. I can't use any of this gas. <laughs> uh, not to mention the tank is probably no good too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's from the top of the tank. 
So that's in the tank. That's in that gas right there. Can't use any of it, unfortunately. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and order a new tank and a new sending unit. And uh, as far as Project 86 Ranger goes, I'll bring you guys back whenever we're ready to do that. Let me uh, show you guys under the hood real quick. Clean little engine. Little 2.9 liter fuel injected jobber. I mean, uh, the guy that sold it to me, he had just had somebody replace all the belts and the uh, the plugs and the wires and everything. He couldn't understand why it was running so bad. And well, there you go. There's the culprit. There's my little man. But anyway, that's what we're doing right now. So we're working on this thing, and hopefully she'll uh, she'll wake up when we get that new tank in her. Yep. Yep, I ain't wasting this gas. We're going to use it for something. Even if we just clean parts with it. Yep. Look at the sidewall of that tank, y'all. Can y'all see that? I'll try to get y'all in there. Don't worry, I won't drop you in. Man, look at the goodies at the bottom. Mmm, don't that just make y'all hungry? Anyway. We'll use it even if we just use it for parts cleaning. Eww. Yeah, this tank is rotten. Who would have known? That's what ethanol gas does to your vehicles nowadays. You cannot let ethanol gas be stored in your vehicles. Whoa! Lord. Showed you all the goodies that were in there. Y'all, this is an inch or more thick. That's the old sock. That's just pieces. Let me see if I can pull some more. Oh yeah, there's plenty in here to pull. Oh my goodness. So, what we've got here there's a piece of uh, that's a hose clamp. I, that's a hose clamp inside the tank. That must have been on the old sock or something. Here's pieces of the sock. Well, it's just disintegrating under my fingers. And I'm assuming part of this was a float. So you can see the little screen looking pieces, like right there. That was the old sock to pull stuff in. I mean, they're, y'all, they're, this tank is just. I don't know how so much stuff got inside this tank. Because it's just... Mmm. Cornflakes eat your heart out. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ethanol gas. Yep, good stuff. Not. <laughs>